Recently, I had an idea for a project I wanted to do. Part of this project involved activating a solenoid from my smartphone. There are a number of ways to accomplish something like this. I could try and go the wired route. Most phones have at least a USB port and a headphone jack, but my solenoid needed to be a few yards away, so wired was out. Smartphones have a number of wireless options, NFC, again not far enough, my phone has an IR blaster, which could be used in a situation like this, there can be line of sight issues, but still not necessarily a bad way to go. Then of course you have Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. There are a number of options available for going this route. Some great Arduino shields have been created that could easily accomplish this task. But going back to my original problem, activating a solenoid, literally applying just a single voltage, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi really felt like overkill. For what needed to be done, I could not justify to myself the cost and complexity that one of these solutions offered. About this time, I read about another project that someone did. Part of it involved reading a value to know if a remote sensor was activated. The sensor was a few yards away, far enough that a wired solution would be cumbersome, but simple enough to not warrant the complexity of Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. I realized that what hackers and makers really need is a wireless wire, not a solution for high-speed encrypted data transfer, we already have those. Something that is cheap that can transmit or receive a digital one from a few yards away. And we need it to be easy to incorporate into our projects. We don't want to have to spend time setting up or configuring connections. I'm setting out to create just such an item. I plan to use audio signals just outside the audible range. Each wireless wire will come with the capabilities to both emit and detect these barely ultrasonic tones. In fact, I plan to make just a single I.O. pin. The beauty of audio is that all smartphones, not to mention tablets, laptops, and most desktops, have a microphone and speakers. So with the right code, they could also act as either a receiver or a transmitter. 